done the unit one of the assembly, so all the resistors have been added. Um, there are other resistors left over, so I'm sure we'll get to fit those later somewhere else on the PCB. Um, yeah, pretty painless process. Now we're adding the ZO diodes. So these are, they are directional, so you have to put them in a particular way around. So the black line lines up with the line there on the actual diagram. But it's all shown on the, the actual instructions here. So. for these chaps. It's in a diode, it basically is a diode that regulates the voltage. So it keeps it at a certain point. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that's all done. Then you're onto your standard diodes. With all these ones that you have to get it the right way around, they've got the check for orientation stamp on them, so make sure you get them the right way around. So these are just a diode, standard diode, which direction as well, so the white line lines up. Like that, you see how the white line well, it's grey really. It's lined up with the line on the actual pictorial representation of a diode. Then these chaps are bridge diodes. That was a square bodied thing. These also have to be put in the correct way around. Um, they're represented by these here. Bing bong. Three of them, and you can see on the body of the thing you've got. Let me just get this in close. You can see a negative there, mm. positive there, sine wave, sine wave, negative, positive. Put them in. Some help with this one. Let's get these the right way around, chaps. So when you're fitting the FETs, you need a nut and screw, an M3 nut and an M3 times 10 screw. This looks to be them. So these are Phillips screws, so that's fine. Right. Orientation on these has to be spot on. So Q3. Don't mind, you can figure out how they all line up. Cool. Put that done later. Right, so next page is going well. So we've fitted our Zen our diodes. Which are the glass bodied ones there? We've done our diodes, bing bing, bing, there's another one somewhere. 
we've done our bridge rectifiers, and we've done our FETs. So, what's next? We're on to um, number six of the Unit 1 assembly. The LED, which is going to be fitted. Okay, so if you look at the LED, you've got one lead here which is longer than the other, just marginally here. Could be, be better if it was a bit longer. So that corresponds to K, which I assume is a cathode, on the board. So you can see that K is, is lined up there. So that long lead goes in the hole that's marked K. I would assume. <laughs> it's a tricky one. Quite tricky to put this in actually. Right. That's okay, it goes in there. Those lines up there. Let's have a bit of tape on the end of these damn things. That's a gun. And then it says how the PCB, sorry, the LED sits in. Actually flush. There like that. Oops. Let it come out a bit more. And also to help you with directionality, you can see that the the hole, the cutout for the LED to sit in, has a bit of a an opening there at the end, which relates to the fact that there's a sticky outy bit there. <laughs> sticky outy bit. Brilliant word. Right. So these number seven film cap. Not there's no orientation on this one. So that. So, C3. This is there. C4. Resistors. So there's there's two packs with two transistors in. These you have to put in the right way around as well. So you can see the ident on the actual the screen print on the PCB. It's a D shape there, so it relates to that. So that's pretty pretty understand. You can get that in right. Same story with this, I'd assume. Yep, it's a D shape. When you do your soldering of these transistors, I was kind of do a leg, then go off somewhere, let it cool down, and come back and do another leg. You don't want to destroy these puppies. And there's a Q7 there. I think. Great. And now we're on to the connectors. Two different types, a four pin and a six pin. Let's have a look for those then. So you want the four pin, there's two four pins, one six pin. There, okay? So these are orientated as well. 
can see a little nodule there, which reflects to the nodule there. So CN9, let me just pick the other ones to show that we've done that. Right, might just do some soldering in a minute because that's going to fall out as soon as I turn it over. So is that one? Yeah. So again, C7's got a nodule there. So in there. Solder these in actually while. Solder. So we're going to use my old famous 3.8% Mundorf silver solder. Right. I'm just going to solder one leg just to get it in. We'll do the soldering in one big batch in a bit. We've got the other bits in. Put those out of the way. Put those out of the way. So now that's done. Boom. And then we've got this one, but these are the jumpers. So six pin jumper. This is the jumper bag. So there's in this first section, JP1, JP2, JP5. So you've got to check your orientation on these. Um, so we're going to turn over the board because I believe they have to come in from the other side. Yeah, sure enough, there they are. So you can see on this little drawing how it works. This is side B. Yeah, so side B is like that. That should fit in perfectly, hopefully. Cool. Yeah, so side B has the longer part sticking out, as is the diagram. Brilliant. So that's JP5. JP. Boom. So that's done. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're on the valve bases, and again, it's a caution on this one to get it in the right way around. God, it's so great this, look how, so she's got a little drawing. So this is side B, so on side B you want to see the valve base. So where are the valve bases? Open bases. So these are the B9As. Right, because I need to get around there and there's wires everywhere, I'm just going to solder those chaps in. Before I do, I'm just going to make sure they're not sticking out anywhere. That one is. That's not even the lead. Cool. So I'm just going to solder the leads around the valve base quickly and then cut them short. Because they're... So, with reference to the octals, you can see that the locator key is there, which correlates to the there, so they have to line up like that. Same here, I've got a locator key there. Yeah. 
Well, you start off with some going straight away, and you have to just go around, squeeze the other ones in. Yeah. Make sure they're good in, in and flat. So I'm going to solder those in because they do that. See that? They fell out. Do that one in a minute. 